Ken and Jeanette, Happy New Year. Well, I've just made a start on your concepts and um, just want to talk through where I'm at. So the front of the house I haven't done much with, but what I'm going to do at the front of the house here, those patches of lawn that's in between the, the driveway there, I'm going to turn them into garden bed. In front of the house, I'm going to turn that into garden bed. Um, I'm going to give you some lawn. I really want to nestle this house in amongst um, some really beautiful um, deciduous trees. The driveway, we need to trim that right hand side. We're going to replant that out. That steep embankment here, I'm going to deal with that up towards the fence. That view, we really want to encapsulate the views and this is what this design is about. There's a little clump of trees uh, in the close foreground there which we want to uh, encapsulate. And these vistas, these vistas are spectacular and this is really the design of the house is to, to be able to look out across that. And as we swing around towards the left here, one of the things that is obviously a great disappointment is that house next door. In this current design, I've left the, the spa where it is. But there's the house next door. We really want to try and block that out. They've already got the magnolias growing in front of that. I've, in my design, I, I want to make sure that we get a hedge on our side of the, of the boundary. That way we can control the height a bit better. The ground levels where the fill, the um, fill from the side cut has been um, left, I'm going to work with those. The paving is going to come up to your current paving height. Um, I have built in a kitchen where your current barbecue is there just to tidy that up a bit. And I haven't, everything uh, connected with the house, I haven't, I haven't changed. Uh, in my next concept, I, I am going to change this um, spa area. Chief Architectural Advisor sharing her vision there. That wall in front of the ensuite and, and walk-in um, wardrobe, I'm going to plant all that and soften those with those pieces of, of machinery. Um, I quite like that view across to the, um, to that growing area over there. And, and of course the rest of the trees in this vista are all spectacular and we want to, um, we want to make sure that we don't block it out. But I also want to talk to you about how I am going to um, put in some foreground planting into your design. Um, so we have uh, areas of interest, so for, foreground and background. So you can see there the natural ground level and your um, current site fill, which I'm going to deal with. I really want to just create a beautiful wall around that. I want to flatten it out and extend that out a little bit. And, um, and then so you can have a nice area where it's mown down towards the boundary fence. Up here near the laundry, we're going to deal with this this bankment. We just we don't want to have to be um, mowing that. Um, and it, opposite the the master bedroom, I've got a garden bed. Now right now I've got the garden bed just drawn square and straight. I think I might roll that. The piano room, I think we'll just leave that that face there. Now here are the views from the inside. So this is the towards the right hand side, very beautiful views um, obviously towards the left hand side where the house next door is not so great but we really want to try and encapsulate all of these views uh, towards the right and there's just looking out through the kitchen window that sneak view of next door so views out from the front door we are obviously going to tidy that up that little patch of lawn on the left there will be garden bed now this picture frame window very very important we're going to put a garden bed there um, and here's the piano room looking directly onto that house next door, which I'm going to unblock with a hedge. So, between the house and the shed, I'm going to create uh, an avenue of, of plants and trees through here. So that's the views out, that beautiful view that we were just looking at a second ago. We don't want to um, undo any of that. In this, in this particular concept, the spa has um, remained because I spoke to you after um, I had drawn this drawing. So what I want to do is create a, um, a, a secondary seating area that's independent of the pool. So this is a fire pit, a really great spot to go in and incorporate and build in the pizza oven down here. So it becomes a really good social go-to kind of spot. Um, I was considering building some sort of arbor over the top of it, but I haven't at this point in time. But it's just a really nice area to sit in the garden with those, with those great views. Now, the swimming pool, built at the same level as the paving. I think that's really important to elevate this as high as we can go and really connect those, those floor levels. Um, negative edge, infinity edge. It's 12 meters long, 
uh, three and a half meters wide uh, and just a little bit of paving on either sides and it sits in between the last two posts of your of your roof line nice nice and symmetrically umbrellas day beds uh, i think that's really important to include inside a pool fenced area now your existing lawn levels, I want to extend that out to the end of the, of the edge of the pool. You can see that retaining, that stone retaining wall that I've put in here. And I've put in garden bed. I didn't want to bring the lawn all the way out. What I want to do is, is create um, this mid, mid ground or mid plane focal point. So when you're looking out, we have the trees. We can see straight through the trees to the vista beyond. But I want to create um, a point of interest here. In front of the master bedroom wall and the ensuite and walk-in wardrobe, I do want to soften all of that round. I've just got a square patch of plants there. The piano room, I think we really should leave that as a, as a blank wall, have the lawn going up against it. And then I've created a bit of a secondary seating space out here underneath the trees. I think it's a really nice, um, just a go-to kind of spot. A bit of um, some steppers that divide the space. There's the garden bed in front of the, that picture frame window change the barbecue to something that's built in, it looks a little bit smarter. And the pool fencing I've set up between the steel posts and uh, obviously wraps around the ends of the pool as well. Now those umbrellas are, de are deliberately positioned so that their poles are hidden behind the, um, the existing post. Now we can move those so that the uh, the day beds and the umbrellas can shift to one side or the other. They don't have to be in the middle. I just did it for, you know, for the purposes of being symmetrical. And of course, these are the important views out towards the right. And this is why I really wanted to create that secondary seating area on this side. Um, completely independent of the pool. This can be used at any time of year. Uh, it's just a nice little go-to area. I'd love to incorporate the, a pizza oven um, down into this space. And so it, it just becomes a really good social hub to be in. The spa, like I said, um, is remaining there in this particular concept. Here are the views out from the house. So um, as you can see on the left-hand side there, I've put this hedge to try and block out the house, but you can see all the way through to those, those really important vistas. The view from the front door looking out through that picture frame window, I do want to put this little Japanese maple into one side, but you can see foreground, midground, through the trees, particularly in winter when they've all lost their foliage, you'll be able to see right through to the um, to the um, to that, that that further vista. The piano room, um, again, foreground, midground. The house is blocked out, so I really want to get this evergreen hedge up there. It could be um, a, a, a cypress, all sorts of evergreen trees that we can use to, um, to screen off there. Then I've got the deciduous trees, these lightly foliaged, quite sparse deciduous trees in the mid plane, which allows you to see straight through. So you, throughout the seasons, you'll get all sorts of different vistas and things happening. So don't, don't, don't think I'm trying to block out your views. I'm just trying to create um, seasonal interest in that. Uh, if, it, if I didn't do it, you would just have the kind of the same view every single day. So this is a work in progress. So um, this, this pool is gonna pretty much stay in all of the concepts. I'll tweak it a little bit and then I'll play around with either side. And I've really got to do a, a lot of work on the, on the front garden to, to complete the picture. But I wanted to get this back half this first concept in the back half of the design to you first of all, so you can um, so you can get your head around what it is that I'm doing, and then we'll progress the design from there. <laughs> 